Hello my friends and welcome back to Coffee Tea Paper. My name is Louise and today I am sharing loads of happy mail that I got in March with you guys. Uh, so we're starting off here today with this one from Helen who is half of the dynamic duo of cheery letters of uh, Helen and Claire. Uh, they have a beautifully, beautifully curated Etsy store where they uh, do a few collaborations with different designers and I shouldn't be encouraging you to go and have a look because you'll see things that you want. If you're in the mood, go and have a look. <laughs> anyway, Helen, Helen sent me uh, a happy mail uh, with a letter and she has totally spoilt me this time. I don't know what I have done to deserve such a beautiful mail, such a generous mail, but uh, yeah, I'm so, so appreciative. Uh, we're starting off having a look at this lovely folder that she's made. I really like it. It's like a mini sort of file folder. She's put some uh, Dodo Lulu uh, washi tape on some background and use them as stickers and she's done this fun little round cutout with like a little a sneak peek preview of of what's inside uh, she's popped in some of these gorgeous japanese memo notes a lot of them with a bird theme which you know it's me i love birds <laughs> And uh, yeah, and a couple of these ones from Crimson as well, uh, who does beautiful vintage style, like ch like uh, vintage style illustrations of like children's. They, they remind me of like children's books from like the 1950s and things. Uh, Helen's also put in some of her own die cuts there from Valentine's Day and some Lady uh, F, uh, like. Uh, house washi tapes, uh, some vintage stamps, and here are some little crimson washi tape samples on these cute little cards as well with that that little padlock charm. How cute is that? I am. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on one of my journals. I don't know which one yet. And here is a postcard also by a crimson with this gorgeous little winter themed illustration with uh, what looks like a uh, Inuit person with uh, her teddy and her cat. Um, I love that illustration of that lady with her journal magazine and Helen's popped in some uh, girl stickers as well. And uh, yeah, these are so nice. And I'm loving that they're all kind of an autumn theme because of course, Supposedly, even though it's 30 degrees today, we're in autumn. Yay, I can't wait till it gets cooler. <laughs> now, one of the other interests that Helen and I share is traveling. So it's fun that she's popped in a little bit of a, a travel theme page here uh, with the, I think that's an Elsie with Love uh, stamps there. And here on the front of the file folder are these this beautiful um, bird uh, fussy cut and flower fussy cut with some travelers a travelers uh, notebook company um, washi and and a vintage stamp as well. Uh, she's also popped in some samples of some PET tapes for me. Uh, now this I think is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this might be a collaboration between Windry Ramadina and Lissaninda. Uh, and I'm so pleased to see that same illustration there on the tape. But how can I use it when I've got one? But I will, I will, I promise. <laughs> and yeah, love all these themes with happy mail, mail day, parcels, journaling, cafe journaling, going off to the market. Um, yeah, look at some rainy days. Oh, we can only hope. Uh, some journals there. This <laughs> this lady flipping her egg in the fry pan. <laughs> and uh, yeah, lots lots of fun illustration of uh, of people on this tape. So 
yeah, really looking forward to, to using those. I might spend a bit of time fussy cutting them out uh, one night and popping them in my tin. Now this little box is cute. It's got collect cute on it. <laughs> We all like to collect cute, don't we? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Helen's popped in some other uh, uh, pet tape samples here as well. So I really like this one. This one's a little bit different. I'm not familiar with the artist, so I shall have to go and have a look at their uh, at Helen's uh, Etsy store and see if. Uh, I can find the the name of this pet tape on there but I, I like how the illustration is a little bit more um, a cartoon kawaii style and uh, yeah lots of um, seasonally appropriate imagery with this hello autumn there that that girl's holding on her magazine so yeah, no excuses. You'll you'll have to uh, keep me honest and ask me if they're not appearing in my journal spreads. Where are they, Louise? <laughs> and here is some. I haven't seen this. It's um I recognise the design instantly. It's Black Milk Project. Their um, illustration style is so distinctive. And I think this is part of their new range. I haven't seen this particular tape, but. I think I've seen some of their stamps and it's something like mel melancholia, mel melancholy, melan, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, so please um, don't cringe if I'm not. <laughs> and here's another pet tape with some more figures and I don't know this artist either, but I really like the styles here and I like the different kind of um oh, how would you say i really like the fashion choices i like the fact that there's sort of uh some different i don't know to me the people look like different ages and different genders and yeah it's nice to have a bit of variety to to mix up when i was doing um a spread for my son's birthday the other week and I realize I really don't have any like man stickers, <laughs> man stickers, boy stickers. I don't know. Um, yeah, where, where it's quite difficult to find. Um, so anything that's a little bit uh, different along those lines is really nice to have in your stash. Uh, she's also popped in a sample of this wrapping paper which is a fun idea and it reminds me of that Japanese uh, shibori uh, style fabric, the blue and white fabric. Um, that'd be a really nice journal cover or maybe a cover for a happy mail or yeah something along those lines. It's a little bit more robust being wrapping paper as well uh, another thing that Helen often puts in her shop are some die cuts that she makes and I love these rabbits with the sort of floral patterns in them and also those some um, sort of they kind of look like flowers or they could be snowflakes or they could be stars so really nice versatile die cut in those um, as well and she's also popped in a mix of some um, receipt papers and little um, note cards and some vintage playing cards in there as well and look at the cute little rabbit um, the new year rabbit envelope as well uh, I, I can't believe how many goodies Helen has sent I'm <laughs> I'm just absolutely blown away they're just gorgeous gorgeous collection of lovely lovely things and I'm just so grateful she's she knows me very well she's sent these beautiful birds and look how superbly that they're that they're cut out there's a quail I think we used to have quails like that I'm not sure if they're like a bob white or a Californian quail and uh, yeah and we used to have these parrots as well a, a princess parrot um, yeah, a bit bigger than a, a cockatiel, not as big as a, a cockatoo or a galah, but beautiful natured parrots and a really gorgeous call as well. 
and uh, yes, some more of those lovely Japanese note memo note sheets and uh, this <laughs> very cute master cat master cat with his pour over coffee <laughs> and uh, yeah some frame die cuts as well and some more of uh, some people pet tapes and these are really nice as well these illustrations there they're different again and uh, look a boy a boy <laughs> where was he the other week and uh, yeah I love these MU rub on stickers they always just look so delicate and beautiful on the page and uh, and I love that Helen has sent me some with a plant and gardening theme. That's something that we often talk about in our letters is what's happening in the state of our garden. And uh, yeah, they, she had a bit of bad luck uh, not so long ago. They had a, a bit of a mini tornado and it knocked down their fence. So, I mean, at least it was only the fence, but I just can't imagine that. We just, we don't get tornadoes here, but uh, yeah, so it must scary 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 now i was talking about how amazingly fussy cut those birds were but look at these flowers so these are from a book um, from book pages and i just i can't believe how beautifully fussy cut these are ah just i am in awe of the scissor skills. That's really hard to say. Scissor skills. I am in awe of the scissor skills that it must have taken to cut these out so precisely and delicately. And uh, they're just so, so beautiful. They'll be absolutely wonderful to make some collage with i can just yeah see it now it makes me want to sit down and make a whole lot of postcards and things so yeah so that's a little uh shop logo uh from helen and claire of cheery letters and she has spoilt me and she has sent me some twgt twgt is a brand from singapore and they actually have beautiful like really um luxe uh tea shops and have really lovely um blended teas so we've got here um i've had that 1837 black tea before and it is just i think it's one of their signature teas and it's really really good like it's you're like I can still remember what it tasted like so I'm very excited um, to have a bag of that and she sent me some of that silver moon tea before and it's just divine as well and really nice teas very beautifully packaged they have the foil packages and um, like the gauze style bag so uh, absolutely stunning mail and I just I feel very blessed very grateful and um oh yeah thank you Helen uh, so I did receive some other happy mails as well in March so yeah you'll see that the, the lighting might be a bit random and uh there might be other different things because I have filmed these in bits and pieces over the course of the month uh, so <laughs> I don't know if this was this must have been very early in the morning I've got my coffee um, and this first mail here is from Beck from um, Beck writes now uh, Beck has a Instagram and she has an Etsy store where she uh, uh, curates vintage stamps from all over the world and uh, yeah really really uh, nice things and uh, yeah she's been she had a very busy year though so she hasn't updated her youtube channel for a little while but she's got a really nice backlog of things to go and have a look at um particularly if you if you're a hobonichi keeper yeah because she's very into the hobonichi so it's, it's worth checking out so she's collated lots of cute little bits and pieces here lots of little labels and airmail and sort of faux stamps and 
different bits and pieces here and this is a really nice um, example I guess of how to do a very cute little flat mail that still packs a big punch so she you can see she's decorated the envelope so nicely and she's done this little flip book which opens up and has um, essentially uh, two pockets in it but when you fold because it's folded in half you've got two pockets on each side and so she's just stuffed them with all you know different bits and pieces and goodies and some vintage playing cards and vintage stamps and some washi tape samples here and yeah just lovely <laughs> that little bird picking out and uh, yeah so really nice just you know so simple just a piece of cardboard decorated with uh, those torn edges to make the pockets and she's put my name on the front and yeah really really fun cute mail now this next one is from Serviana who we met up a few weeks ago in town and so that was really fun because she lives in Brisbane as well and uh, we went um, fountain pen browsing and yeah I think we, we could have spent uh, a lot longer and yeah so I'm hoping to catch up with her again very very soon and yeah it was just lovely it was lovely to meet in person and chat all things pens and paper and journals uh, with someone now she's made this little packet and it's very very intriguing with this old music paper and some flowers I'm performing a delicate operation here to just uh, gently clip the the twine that she has sewed it up with and inside she has sent me the most gorgeous bookmark look at that look at that macaw a macaw would be my dream pet I have to say um, I love the fact that it's got some butterflies on it when I think of Serviana she often uses uh, butterflies in her happy mails and in her journal spreads so I think that's really lovely that she's sent me this beautiful bookmark which not only has a macaw on it which is you know, she's she's thought of me for that but I see the butterflies on it which reminds me of her uh, she's also popped in some immunity tea which has got some a very sort of psychedelic um, imagery on it so it's going to look great in my tea journal which unfortunately I have been neglecting because it is school holidays here and uh, so I've been doing lots of things and my husband had a week off as well so I've been doing lots of things with him and with the kids and all together and we've also been doing a whole bunch of DIY stuff around home and just all those jobs that you don't really have time for um, generally and uh, you kind of need a couple of people to do together and uh, yeah so we've been we had a very productive and he also had a relaxing time off which was lovely but I do still have the kids on holiday and uh, yes yeah, so just having a look here at what Serviana's put in so you'll see you'll notice that there are quite a few butterflies in her mail um, and yeah lots of interesting things like different papers and some journaling cards and stickers and some fussy cut flowers and yeah just lots of really nice variety of, of different things um, some sort of vintage ladies and this like embossed circles which are a really nice way to add some texture to your pages and she's popped in some more little stickers and floral fussy cuts and some frames and things in this in this side pocket including I love this look at this vintage illustration of this lady playing golf with her with her um what's the thing it's not a beret like it's like a Scottish thing like you know with the it's like a beret it's like a Scottish beret with a pom-pom on top it's got a special name I have no idea what it is right now 
Uh, yeah, but another example of really fun flat mail. She's decorated back with this watercolored flower that she's painted and little stitched bits. And yeah, just so, so lovely and so thoughtful. So thank you. Um, on to the next one. So the next one is from Victoria. And she sent me quite a big package here, which is I'm very curious to see what she's put inside. And Victoria, well, Serviana is amazing at finding things at thrift stores. Uh, so is Victoria, but they go for different things, which is always quite interesting. However, she's picked up this calendar for me. She went to her post office. I think her post office must be a much more luxurious post office than the one I go to because she's always finding really nice products there. Um, like she did a lot of her Christmas shopping, I know, at her post office. So yeah, like my post office basically sells things like, um, um, Oh, like you know as seen on tv <laughs> like back massages and things which yeah but her post office seems to sell really nice things and uh, yeah so she found that blinky bill calendar so she sent that to me which was lovely um because i don't actually have a calendar for this year i kind of missed that window of opportunity i was going to go for another himakuri one and i uh, just never got around to it so uh this mail that she has sent me she has beautifully coordinated everything in it to have an an autumny slash easter theme which i think she has done so nicely so little fussy cuts and these <laughs> these cute little squirrel and rabbit and uh, some stamped um autumnal imagery and this little Easter greetings, I think I'm going to put that in my memory keeping journal, a little heart tag and some illustrations and yeah, really, really nice um, assortment of, of autumn themed um, colours and images and yeah, just lovely and it's funny because as I'm going through this and I see you know like the things with the butterflies and I think oh they're so nice I can't wait to use them in a mail for Serviana <laughs> it's quite funny and yeah look this fun postcard with the tea and uh, yeah and it's now she sent me some magazine pages which are really nice like with these dried like this idea to make dried flowers in a frame and on the back is these uh, illustrations of forest elves um, I actually at the markets the other week and I bought a pressed flowers in a glass frame to give to one of my friends for her birthday and uh, yeah, she really liked Well, she said she really liked it. Hopefully she does. Um, yeah, but really, really nicely done. The lady who who, um, who makes them actually does classes as well. Um, and yeah, so I love these um, illustrations of these elves. And I think, you know, you could cut out those wings and put them in behind them to do collage and look at these I don't know which side to use I mean it's got the wings on one side and the beautiful floral illustrations on the other and wow look at that chocolate cookie with ice cream popcorn and caramel sauce <gasps> oh, so decadent <laughs> and what's the other one penne pasta with tomato and sausage yeah a tasty so yeah, so that is my mails. And then finally, in other exciting news, my journal cover or notebook cover that I have been waiting for for so long. There was a whole mix up. It got delivered to someone else in America and it like almost got lost and oh. But uh, yeah, so sadly, La Cow or La Right, uh, that's the one and the same, uh, shutting up a shop. Uh, they closed shop at the end of March and they were having a big, big sale on their leathers and products and things. And so I decided because I had been wanting a notebook cover from them for a while, which was a bit pricey, but I decided to take the plunge because it was 
um, so much more affordable with the the discount and everything and I ordered this one so I asked for an A5 in a natural leather so undyed leather uh, with orange stitching because you know orange love it this wooden button and a, a orange elastic and a um, pocket in the back and with a couple of elastics there as well so this is to put my Hobonichi notebook in um, where I am keeping track of a whole bunch of sort of little projects and things so YouTube content um, Ferris wheel press content um, ideas and stuff for my Etsy store um, a wish list I've got in there um, yeah just a whole a whole bunch of different things and uh, yes yeah, so I thought it'd be nice to have it a little bit more protected in a nice cover and look at that it fits like a glove and I have to say, I'm, I'm sorry, vegans and vegetarians, just cover your ears for a moment, but I hope they've covered their ears. I love the smell of leather. I love the feel of leather. And um, I'm, I'm hoping that the animals that have contributed their hides to these have had a long and enjoyable life and... and passed on and yet we can continue to enjoy their contribution to the world through their beautiful hides um, please don't tell me if that is not correct <laughs> that's how it is in my world <laughs> that is how I justify those those thought processes so I'm hoping this natural leather will um, age gracefully over time and color up a bit uh, get a bit darker sort of closer to the the orange stitching so time will tell but yeah i just i love how it lays flat in there and oh yeah i just i can't stop feeling it i i had it next to me on um the table last night because <laughs> i just wanted to sort of stroke it now and again um, yeah, with this little elastic closure, and cl um, closure, you can you can pop in a, a pen there um, to keep it secure if if need be, and uh, yeah, so I really really chuffed with that. Um, yeah, so happy happy days. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video and having a look at some of the happy mails I've received and that you shared my joy with them. Till next time, bye.